Cambridge Ideas, transforming tomorrow. Experimental criminologists need to spend a lot of time on the streets. They need to be in places where crimes are about to happen or have just happened. Uh, they need to work with police all hours of the day and night. Uh, they need to be prepared to see blood or to get hurt themselves. I've almost been killed several times out in the streets. My name is Lawrence Sherman. I'm a criminologist, and I'm trying to figure out how the police could cut crime in half. A place like Cambridge uh, has little crime to begin with, and you wouldn't have the full range of serious and organized crime. You wouldn't have the organized prostitution and drug dealing you see in big cities. So it's worth it for us to uh, drive up to Manchester and to see what we can learn in a high crime, big city location with a police department that is very oriented to scientific research. Police radio. Really? We're going to plan the first experiment in the history of the planet that will show what benefit we can get by putting police in some places and not others that are very likely to have crimes and seeing whether the criminals just go someplace else. I study the hot spots of crime. What makes a hot spot hot is lots of people, lots of potential victims, lots of potential offenders. Uh, this straight here, this location is a um, harm crime. Uh, hot point. So as a hot spot of violent crime, we're looking at places where people are getting jumped. Th this can be the flashpoint. Yeah. Th this is probably one of the busiest locations in the city center. Here we're standing out here in the rain and we're not alone. We've got lots of people out here. I mean, the kind of crime we get here, uh, robberies, assaults, uh, general violent crime, uh, also uh, a mix of hate crime due to the nature of being the, the gay village mm -hmm. area. This is one of the locations where violent crime occurs regularly and the resources to prevent it by having a patrol officer here at all times uh, can't be provided. Would you be interested in, in knowing how much benefit you get from doubling or tripling the number of uh, minutes a patrol officer is in this location? Yeah, I'd like to see the figures and see yeah. the results in that definitely. Most places in all cities that have ever been studied never have any crime. If we can lick crime in the hot spots, then we've got it licked altogether. The question is, how do we do that? And that's what I'm trying to figure out. But where are we now? The Green Village, which is right in the center of the city of Manchester. Where I was last night? The time is 4.48 in the morning. Uh, a group of individuals um, who are having an altercation with um, somebody under the influence of of alcohol. Trying to keep this guy away from her, I think. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, he's a, that's a him. This is where they start the fight. Right. Okay. Um, and she, 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 he, he gives a right good right hook there. And he and the one one here, and the other, other he and the one one here. Yeah. There he goes. They're just knocking him right down, yeah. down on the way. Well, it's a good thing they don't have guns. And if the only evidence is his testimony, it's going to be very hard to get a conviction on that. So it might have been better to prevent it in the first place. The police have done their job. The and here comes cleaner. the street cleaner. And tranquility. And, and the sun rises on another hot spot. <laughs> exactly. Which returns to peace, quiet, and birds chirping. If we had a patrol officer there, he could stop, his presence might stop a fight over here. If we had the patrol officer here, it might start a fight, stop a fight down there or over there. If we had 300 of those, we would have a very clean experiment. I'm from the United States where I discovered that only 3% of the street addresses in a major city produce over half of all the crime and where when we conducted a crucial experiment concentrating the police in high crime hotspots and stripping low crime areas of any police patrol at all, we found that we could cut crime in those hotspots by two-thirds. This has been established in the U.S. in repeated trials. Increase that crime-free time. That free We're months. about to test this idea in a new way in the U.K. What we think will make a hotspot cool is simply having a police officer in the middle spoiling the party for the offenders. We're going to pick 200 places that we can experiment with. And in 100 of those places, we're going to put extra police constable patrol. And 100 of them will get the same police service that they all have now. And then we'll see whether having one kind of policing 
or another makes a difference. The second question for the experiment is whether that crime is simply pushed around. Why don't criminals just go to another hotspot when the police are there? I discovered that often the offender is afraid of other offenders who may be in other hotspots. And for them to leave their turf could involve their running into somebody else's turf. And the criminals in that hotspot will attack them for invading that territory. If this experiment produces the results I hope it will, what we could do is revolutionize police practice by putting police not in beats, not in neighborhoods, but at hotspots. Then police work might be more interesting. More importantly, we're all going to be a lot safer.